everyone! Today I wanted to make another theatre video. It's a sit down one, obviously. So in today's video, which may end up being two parts because I feel like I'm going to have a lot to talk about, I'm going to tell you all of the shows that I've been to see. I've been trying to compile a list for a couple of weeks now and I'm still pretty sure I am missing shows off. Um, which I feel really bad about but I don't have my tickets here with me so I can't like go through them all so this is the list that I know I've seen there could be more I'm gonna go in alphabetical order so here we go the first show on my list is 1984 obviously in numerical starting at the top I saw this recently actually there is a vlog of it on my channel if you want to go and check it out uh, it was at the Playhouse Theatre it just recently closed and I'm not normally a play person, but I really enjoyed this. It was a bit of a mind screw over, let's just leave it at that. Next up is another play, and that was American Buffalo, which was at the Wyndham's Theatre, I believe. This show is quite a while ago now, but um, I think it had someone famous in it. I remember enjoying it, but I can't remember much about it, so I don't know what that says about the show. The next show is also a play. Who knew I'd seen this many plays already? And that is As You Like It, which was at the National Theatre. I loved this show, it was really clever. I really like going to the National Theatre. I've seen um, a musical there and some of the plays and I'm actually booked to see another show there soon. Um, I just, I think it's a beautiful building and I just really love it. The next show is Avenue Q, which I've been meaning to go and see for literally years. They always seem to be performing at the Olivier Awards event in Covent Garden. And so every time I'm like, oh, I need to go and see this show, I need to go see it. And finally this tour it was doing this year, I went to see it at the, um, the Wimbledon Theatre, um, cause that's my local at the moment. And I'm really glad I finally went to see it. It was so good. The next show is a show called Bear. And I saw this at the Greenwich Theatre. Uh, again, this was a couple of years ago. And yeah, it was really interesting. It was a very like small production of it but I really enjoyed it. Next up is Beautiful, the Carol King musical, which is still playing at the Old Witch Theatre, which is very true to its name. It is a beautiful show, and I would highly recommend you go see it. The music is lovely, it's got a really good feel-good vibe to it, and it's just a lovely show. The next show is one that I saw almost a year ago now, and that is Bend It Like Beckham, which was at the Phoenix Theatre. It surprised me, and I actually really enjoyed it. So if you get a chance, go and listen to the soundtrack and things like that. Sadly, it's not running anymore, but it was a really fun show. The next show is a West End classic, rest in peace, Billy Elliot. I couldn't be happier that Hamilton it will be finally coming to London, but it's such a shame that it's going to the theatre that was Billy Elliot's home. The next show is another West End staple now, and that is The Book of Mormon. This show is ridiculous and brilliant and the funniest thing is that my grandparents went to see it and when they told me that they were going to go see it I thought oh god what oh and then the next time I spoke to my nan she said that she absolutely loved it and she laughed all the way through it so the mental image of my nan being at the Book of Mormon with them making those jokes is just the best. <laughs> the next show is Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, which is still at the Theatre Royal Drury Lane, um, but it closes soon, I think, in the new year. And I have to say, this is a show that I just really didn't enjoy. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> The next show on my list is Chess, which I saw a small production of at the Union Theatre, which was really stunning. I actually saw it twice, one of which was an understudy kind of cover version of the show, which meant it was like quite cut, but it was really fascinating to see both versions of the show. Next up is Chicago, which I saw on Broadway last year, and I thought I was going to enjoy Chicago, but it felt so outdated and just old. Sorry James, I know you'll hate me for saying that. I know you love Chicago. <laughs> Next up on my list, even though it should have been close to the start, is Chorus Line. A Chorus Line. Um, I saw this at the London Palladium in 2013. It had a really fantastic cast. I wouldn't say it's one of my like favourite shows that I've seen, but it was a very interesting show. Next is City of Angels, which I saw at the Donmar Warehouse. I really enjoyed the space. I think the space is wonderful. The seats, not so much wasn't really comfy at all but this was a fantastic production and an incredible cast. My next show is Close To You which was at the Criterion Theatre. I actually saw this at the start of this year so 
I talked about it in my January curtain up video. I had no idea what to expect when I went to see the show but the music was beautiful, the staging was lovely and I just had a really nice time seeing it. My next show is another play and that was Communicating Doors at the Minier Chocolate Factory. I will admit I mostly went to see this because Rachel Tucker was in it but I remember it being a pretty funny play. My next two shows are actually plays as well. So first up we have The Curious Incident of the Dog in the Nighttime, which I really want to go see again because when I went to see it I was at the front of the theatre and this was when it was at the Apollo. And the stage was so high, I felt like I was missing out on so much that was happening kind of on the floor space. So I really must go and see it again. The next play is Dead Funny, which I saw literally last week and it was great. It was so funny and I've seen another play at the um, Vaudeville Theatre and both times, both plays, the first act you're kind of like laughing 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 like oh my god this is so funny and then the second act it kind of gets like really deep and they tie up all the narrative like storylines and it gets kind of emotional and really shocking. The next show is one that I've seen many times and not because I necessarily wanted to. Uh, that's Dirty Dancing. I used to work at a theatre and so when this show was there I was actually doing my usher training which meant I probably saw this show about 30 times. <laughs> I think that's a bit of an exaggeration but it was definitely around 15 to 20 times. So yeah I, I basically knew it off by heart. The next show is one that I love and miss and would love to see it back actually in the West End and that was Dogfight, which I saw at the Southwark Playhouse. Dogfight was stunning. Oh, I would love, love, love to see it again. The next show was a funny one, and that was Elf at the Dominion Theatre last Christmas. <sighs> Elf is one of my favourite Christmas films. I had high hopes. And yes, okay, it was a fun afternoon. I think it was an afternoon of seeing it but um, they had some casting issues there for me, but I'll leave it at that. The next show, well, it was a workshop kind of production, but it was at the London Palladium, so I'm considering it a show, and that was Eugenius. I actually did a vlog of seeing that, so you can go check that out if you want. Um, it was a really fun show, and I would love to see it in a full form. Next up is Evita, which I saw at the, I think it was the Birmingham Hippodrome, um, again, this was a few years ago now. It's not my favourite show, but I went to see it because a friend was playing the lead role and she was incredible, so that was cool. Next is a show that I saw at one of my favourite theatres, but it's definitely not one of my favourite shows, and that was Exposure, the musical that I went to see this summer. So there's a vlog of that if you want to see my opinions. Uh, sadly, not my fave. And from something that wasn't a favourite to something that definitely is a favourite, Finding Neverland is my next show and I went to see this on Broadway, obviously because it's not in London yet. When is it going to come to London? Um, this was at the, is it the, I'm, I can't remember the theatre name so I'm not going to say it but it was beautiful and I loved it and yeah I can't wait for it to come to London. Bouncing back from that to another show that I didn't really enjoy, uh, that's From Here to Eternity at the Shaftesbury Theatre. Wasn't a fan. Then we have Funny Girl, which I saw at the Many a Chocolate Factory and also the Savoy Theatre. Beautiful production, was gorgeous in the Savoy Theatre, a bit too cramped in the Many a Chocolate Factory, but a stunning production. Next is a show that breaks my heart and I just wish that it could have stayed in the West End, and that is Ghost, which I saw at the Piccadilly Theatre and also Milton Keynes Theatre. Oh man, it's so beautiful. Bit of a contrast, we then have a comedy musical and that was Guys and Dolls at the Phoenix Theatre. I didn't know what to expect from this, I didn't know whether I would enjoy it, but I managed to get a cheap ticket and went along and I actually really enjoyed it. Next up is another show at the Savoy Theatre and that was Gypsy. That was a great production and if you want to watch it, you can get the DVD of it. Is it out now? I think it's out now. It must be out now. It's probably out now. You can watch it. it it's been like immortalised, is that the word? I think that's so great that some productions have been filmed so anyone around the world forever can watch it. There should be more of that. 
my next show is a really fun one that I went to see at the Milton Keynes Theatre again and that was Hairspray. I was gutted to miss this show when it was in the West End. I think it closed kind of just before I became a theatre fan but it would have been awesome to see it in the West End and I was waiting and waiting for it to tour again so I could see it so really happy I went to see that. My next show is the play that I was talking about from the Vaudeville Theatre and that was Hand to God. It was just so funny in the first act and then super intense in the second and it was amazing. It had, I've forgotten his name now, but the guy who plays Dudley Dursley in Harry Potter and he is a phenomenal actor. Most people obviously know him as Dudley but wow, insane acting. Quite a nice little segue there actually talking about Harry Potter because my next show, well shows, is uh, Harry Potter and the Cursed Child. I was so lucky to see this recently and obviously there's a vlog about it so I can direct you straight over to there to watch that. It was one of the best days of my life. The next show was one that sadly had a very short life and that was I Can't Sing, the X Factor musical. Funny story, I was actually kind of in that show. There was a scene where, you know, like how the X Factor queue, they would show that bit. One of the scenes had that basically, so they wanted people to come in, just like your average Joe people, to photograph them, to make up that scene. So my friends and I just signed up for it and thought, why the hell not, let's just do it. Went along to the Palladium and then yeah, we were part of that scene and they gave us free tickets to see the show. From the London Palladium to the London Fringe, uh, my next show is I Love You, You're Perfect, Now Change. This was at uh, the Above the Arts Theatre space, so very, very intimate fringe space. Um, had an awesome little cast and really funny show, really enjoyed it. The next show is another one technically on the fringe, I think, um, but that is In the Heights at King's Cross Theatre. Uh, this show is great. They've just celebrated their one year anniversary, I think. Such a fun show, incredible dancing. Obviously, it's got the music and lyrics and everything by Lynn manuel Miranda and all of us in theatre land to know how incredible he is. So, my next show is one that's sadly closing in the new year and that is Jersey Boys, which is currently at the Piccadilly Theatre. I saw it at the Prince Edward Theatre, so this is going back a few years now. I also watched it a lot when I um, had my theatre job because it came to the theatre that I was working in, so I ushered it a lot gradually got to know every single word of. <laughs> my next show is another fringe one and that is Jest End and I saw it at the Waterloo East Theatre. It's hilarious. It's a parody of loads of West End stuff and it's actually coming back again this year. I'll leave a link in the description for tickets because you should definitely go see it and it's got a wonderful little cast. Next up is another show which has recently celebrated one year in the West End and that is Kinky Boots at the Adelphi Theatre. I've seen this show a few times, three or four times and I love it. I haven't been in ages and I have to rectify this because the cast has changed and I need to go see them but it's such a fun show, jam-packed with energy, funny, sad, heartwarming, it's got everything, go see it. The last show that I'm gonna talk about in this video is Legally Blonde at the Savoy Theatre. This was one of the first shows that I actually went to see in the West End and it had Sheridan Smith in it and she was fantastic. It was such a good show, I just remember laughing like most of the time and just, it was such an empowering show and I really, really enjoyed it. So that would be awesome if that came back to the West End. So I'm going to wrap it up for this half of the list of shows that I've seen. I hope you're enjoying it so far. Let me know in the comments below which shows that you've been to see that I've also been to see. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're enjoying this. I make loads of theatre videos, so if you like this, hopefully you'll like what else I make. Please do give the video a thumbs up if you've enjoyed it. I hope you're all doing well, and I will see you in part 